Hey YouTube, welcome back. And today I say how we're doing. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have Camila Cabello's album reaction. CXOXO is the album name, uh, and it's only fitting that the first track on the album is I Love It featuring Playboy Cardi. The song I've been putting up for so long. I actually haven't done a reaction to it, as I know it did drop as the first single off this album like three months ago, or even longer than that. Um, so I finally have to react to it. I know you've been telling me it's like a bit uh, like 50-50, like some people like it, some people hate it, but uh, hey, it is the best uh, stream-wise song uh, single that she's released. So let's dive straight into this album reaction. If you enjoyed the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all killing, absolutely killing that Chanel number no. 5 reaction. I did get blocked, unfortunately. I was going to react to the music video uh, last night and upload it, but it got blocked. And I'm sort of glad I... Uh, didn't react to the music video because, oh my god, bro. She is so goddamn sexy in that music video. <coughs> and just in general. But, like, that shit caught me off guard. The whole blonde look, I mean, I'm not into blondes, but... <coughs> goddamn. Anyways, <laughs> let's start showing this album reaction. Camila Cabello's brand new album. Let's go. Check out my social links be down below in the description. I'm excited for this one. <coughs> bad it it's not that bad i mean cardi is definitely going to ruin it a hundred percent he's coming to ruin his track and just like he ruined uh popular with the weekend and madonna he's gonna ruin this track and like i don't want to hate on a man i shouldn't hate on anyone really uh but like the songs i've heard of his man uh this, this i feel like they're the, his worst songs that he could ever put out um but We'll wait and see. Uh, the the chorus, like it's, it's repetitive. Um, it is repetitive, but it's 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 catchy. It's vibey.
Oh, it wasn't as it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Here's my favorite song of the album so far, Shinda number five. Bloody hell, man. Ah, uh, I won't um listen to this one as I've already uh done the reaction to it. So go check that out if you haven't done so already. First track, I love it. Um, listen, I've been writing it off for basically the whole time this album roller has been happening, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So props to uh Camila and Cardi. Um, but let's dive straight into the rest of this album because there's two Drake songs on there, uh, as well as City Girls, which I know uh, Camila's excited about that feature. I just watched a video beforehand and she said that she was uh, really ecstatic that they, they hopped on this album with her. Um, but hey, let's dive straight into the rest of the uh, album. Let's get it. I just skipped the uh, track number three, which is like a little interlude. Um, it was a win uh, less than a minute long, and then obviously he knows, which I've already done a reaction to on the channel, so go check that one out if you haven't done so already. But moving on to a song that I haven't heard, uh, which is the fifth song. Um, let's dive straight into 20 somethings, man. Love the title. Uh, we'll see what this one's about. It, this is definitely a way different vibe for a Camila album than we've than we've seen. Obviously, uh, my favorite album is Romance, uh, and then probably her debut album, which I think was called Camila, right? Um, and then her third one, uh, but we'll see where this one ranks. Uh, let me know your ranks down below, what albums you love, what songs you love. Um, This Love is probably my favorite song Camila Cabrera has ever done. Uh, That song is still, like, highly played in my car. Um, But let's move straight on to 20-somethings. Let's go. Okay. Say country, Tim. It's not a country. Hey. We probably won't work, but baby, we might. The, the, the song title is like perfect, because it's just, it's just trying shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Camila, man. This song's incredible. Oh, this whole, like, verse leading up to the chorus is incredible. I really have to say incredible a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna try and stop. Uh, 20 somethings. Like, she's describing this so well. It's like, to be in a relationship or to be in and out of a relationship you know, in your 20 somethings. Woo! Nah, that chorus, I was not even finished. It's legit everything I just said, like, you're in and out of love, you're like, as she said, she said confused and like, you don't know what you want. Uh, she, as she said, you feel better on your own. You feel better like alone sometimes. Like, oh, damn, bro. This song is, oh, <laughs> this could be my favorite song from Camilla. I spoke too soon. Should have left the party sooner. Oh my god. Yo, honestly. <laughs> like every part. Nah, I'm not even gonna say that. Should I say that? 
a lot of parties you should leave like way early like you don't want to be rude right if you're not I, i'm having a good time just leave that shit This is wow. Wow. That is an incredibly written song, man. I said incredibly this time. <laughs> wow. Um I I I shouldn't be shocked as Camila Caban. But like Yeah, that's that's like top five uh song from her. That's magnificent. Uh Damn. She wrote basically this whole album, yeah? Except for the a Drake verse. Incredible. She's amazing, man, like such a talent. We're so lucky to have her writing, releasing music. Um, yeah, she's, she's amazing, man. This next track is track number six, Dade County Dreaming. No, I, no idea if I said that correctly, but it's featuring JT and Young Miami. Let's dive straight into this one. Uh, so far, 20 something is definitely my favorite song from the album. Obviously, I've heard Chanel number five before, so this is like my first listen. Um, uh, let me know your favorite tracks down below, what you rate the album, if you're fucking with it or not. Uh, let's dive straight into this one. Okay. <laughs> mm. This is a thing you This is what it is. Um. Yeah. Okay. This is the city girl feature. I, I wasn't aware. I thought they'd be named city girls, but that transition for that verse was crazy. And they shout out the album XOXO. That's hot as fuck. I thought some gossip girl shit, but. I love the piano uh, right now that's coming to the track. To be fair, like their feature, like wasn't really anything like special. It's my first introduction to them, so I haven't really heard a song from either of them or the City Girls uh, ever. Um, Camille is trying something new. Uh, not too sure if I'm vibing with it too much, but it's just one song on the album, and it definitely it's just my first listen, so it's gonna grow on me. I'm not gonna like not listen to a song like the Cardi one, uh, uh, but. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too sure about that track, hey. 
Uh, I'm like, I like sixty forty like at sixty percent that I, I didn't like, but forty percent like it has potential for sure. Um, but hey, that's all right. Uh, this is just a interlude real quick, so we'll just listen to it. Uh, it's the seven track, and then there's the Drake song, Drake and Camilla. Oh my goodness. Never would I ever thought I'd see a day. I was going through life, kind of like a heartbreak, and I also um. My dog that was like there for me and stuff like he had passed away and I was listening to Camila. Her music got me through it. I think that was the first music like album that I actually like shed tears to music mm. while it's playing like cause the song and like that was like um Camila, the Camila album. So like it's an honor to just be here. And that's be able cute, to just, man. Like, you know, speak on that shit for real. Well that's your man. See XO XO. The C is for her name, yeah? Like, I'm not tripping. The C is for her name. So I'm like, why the frig is the C there? But it has to be, like, Camila XOXO. Let me know if I'm wrong. But, uh, that was a beautiful story, man. Um, alright. The moment we all have been waiting for, well, like, the highlight of this album for me is that there's two Drake songs on this shit. And this album is extremely short. Like, I'm looking at all the songs, like, holy shit. Like, there's nothing past, like, three minutes other than He Knows with Lil Nas X. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, this is track number eight, Hot Uptown featuring Drake. Now, I'm so excited for this, man. Uh, let's dive straight into it. Hit the like button, subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Uh... Camila Cabello is probably one of my, definitely one of my favorite female artists. Uh, I don't know where the rankings are at this point. There's so many, so much talented female artists in the game right now. Um, and there's many more coming through. But let, let's dive straight into this shit, man. Let's go. Oh my god, bro! Drake's in his summer bag right now, giving me like I don't know if it's views vibe. I'm getting, I'm getting definitely signs vibes. Uh, bruh, no way, dude! And Camilla and him going like back and forth like that. Oh, it's about to be crazy. This. You got Drake singing like this, Camilla. Nah, this is crazy. Man, I want this Drake back like so bad. Like, Views Drake, please come back to me, bro. I'm telling you. I need a like Views like sequel. That's his best album. I don't give a shit. Honestly, never mind type beat, real quick. This is freaking ridiculous. This song is amazing. This song is amazing. Oh my.
many people happy right now, bro. Like, it, I just love it that music can do this to people, man. Like, I am so happy right now that this song is, like, even, like, in our grasp. And they've been, they've held on to this shit probably, like, a long time. They're, and now they're like, ah, you guys can have it, man. But, like, they already had, I guess, that excitement and stuff. Like, oh, my God, we just made something great. But now that everyone else can, like, react to it and, and see if they like it. But, like, honestly, it doesn't really care what other people think. But, like, bro, this shit's a banger. And if you say it's not, if you say it's shit, you're wrong, man. I ain't even joking. Like, this shit's incredible. Drake singing like this. Camilla Sandin fucking sexy as fuck. Their two voices on a, on a song together is unreal. Unmatched even. Like, this is just... For sure, bro. That's crazy. That song sounds like I'm in Miami, like just like cruising, like this, like the streets, like going to the beach and shit. It sounds like I'm in Miami. That, like, this song's got a couple good songs on there already, or great songs, I should say. But like, anything beating that song, I have no idea. But uh, that's definitely the best song on the album. Shout out to Drizzy and Camila, man. Oh my goodness, Camila getting Drake on two songs on her album is crazy. By the way. And this next one's with, with him by himself, so let's go. Man, Hop Uptown is crazy. Uh, this next song is just Drake only called Ugly with three U's, um, which is odd. But it's only, it's less than two minutes. Uh, it's the track number nine. We're flying through this album. Uh, man, let me know your favorite songs down below. If Hot Uptown ain't your top three, I don't know what you're missing out on. But uh, I guess you're not a Drizzy fan, so hey. Um, but like, regarding this album, it's definitely like Camila's like core fan base or like her OG listeners. I don't know if they're gonna fuck with this too much. Is this because it's a complete different style to what she usually has done before? Um, in terms of like her singing, like she's not really in her singing bag at, at like romance like too much. Um, I and even like her debut album, there's a couple of. Um, songs in there that are sort of familiar with this album, but like in romance, she flexed so much and like vocally and everything. Like she is it. She's got the complete package, and she's just showing us what what she can do on this album as well. Like she's not in like one one lane. She's got totally like six seven different avenues that she can do, and I love that artist can show that off, man. Shout out to Camilla. Let's go on this Drake track only, baby. Come up with shit like that. How's he like man should have shorten that sentence into like seven words, right? Instead he like just takes it, breaks it, bends it into like this complete like fifteen word sentence thing and makes it sound like more incredible than it should have been. Jake does that on a regular basis. I don't understand it, like really? But he is a magician with his words, man. <laughs>
For someone that's so lost in life, you always manage to end up my my crib, bro. Oh my goodness, man. Drake, bro. He's so fucking good at that shit. It's like a try my best sequel right now. But they're actually broken up. But are they broken up? I don't know. I mean, like, Drake's just in his bag on that one, like, it's nothing really too much to break down, it's just, I, I honestly think it's a Try My Best sequel, like, if you haven't heard Try My Best of his new album, For All The Dogs, um, or his latest album, uh, go check that one out, I feel like that's just, like, continuation from that song, but, uh, moving on to the 10th track, Dream Girls, let's go, Two Juicy Drakes are crazy, they'll be playing non-stop, this whole album will be probably... Not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a few skips. Like, there's definitely a few skips already. But, gonna give stuff more than a first listen. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a short life, so we going all out. I legit said it to May. I'm like, I what are we gonna lose, man? Like, we don't have forever. Just fucking go out and do whatever you want. Do what, like, legit, do whatever you want. Uh, legal, of course. Um, but like, just fucking live, bro. Just go out and do shit. Like, what, what, what's stopping you? Money, obviously, yes, but, like, just go do, just go outside and, like, explore. The world's beautiful, man. Yeah. Bro, this song is incredible as well. I said it again. But my goodness, the production, her voice is blending so well together. And like, it's just, I'm just amazed. I, uh, like, X Factor, this whole, like, production and everything. It's perfect. It's honestly perfect. And like, this is like getting me off my seat. Like, getting me, like, want to dance and shit, like. This is exciting music right now. Just the upbeat music, man, that just brings joy and like smiles to faces, and I love that shit. Oh, and that beat! Okay!
bro. Wow, talk about a fucking role model, man. Mira Cabello, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, definitely uh, top five song off this album, for sure. Chanel number five, 20-somethings. Hot Uptown, Dreamgirls. Is that four or five? I can't remember. But uh, one, two, three, four. And I, I put uh, He Knows in there, probably. This is just a 49 second um, interlude or something, so let's listen to it. What they're meaning, um, obviously that one before the Koshi XOXO is uh someone's experience and and what Camilla's music did for him, um, which which is beautiful, uh, saved him through a heartbreak, uh, the pink XOXO I can't even remember it, I think oh she she sang a little bit of it, uh, I didn't record that one, uh, and then it was just a something like a massive, uh, just instrumental at the end, uh. That one, it was must have been her or someone that she knows in as like a kid and like going through Miami and, and maybe like her first thoughts and stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong, but that was my vibe of it. Uh, moving on to the, the last three tracks of this album. This one is Boat. It's the 12th track. Um, so far, this album, for me, I mean, there's definitely a lot of skips on the album, but I feel like the songs that I do love are going to be ones that I'm going to listen to a lot. Uh... And I, they're incredible, they're incredible, phenomenal tracks. Uh, but like, does that take away from like that? I'm trying to like think like, where's the album sit with me in terms of like, com I shouldn't compare stuff, but like albums of the year type thing. I feel like Camila is not really going for that anymore. She's had all that like fame and like songs go massive and everything that she's sort of just making music for herself now uh, i feel like that was her last album exact same thing um she doesn't really care about that anymore and she's doing this for herself which i think definitely as an artist you do take that uh avenue at some point through your career especially if you've blown up straight away or like later on in your career you're like oh shit but you've had those like albums to develop yourself um she obviously blew up quite quickly uh, Cause she was in Fifth Harmony, and then her debut album went massive, uh, and then her second album as well. She had a lot of hit singles, uh, but now I feel like she's just doing music for herself, and I love that. Um, her last album was extremely special, um, and then this album I feel like is exactly the same. So, in terms of rankings from Camila's albums, it's not really an album that I personally. I'm gonna like say it's my favorite over like other albums of hers, but like there's still some phenomenal tracks on this album that I I on first listen and like Chanel number five and stuff they're amazing. Uh, so let's touch on the last. I speak. <laughs> These next three songs are about to be fucking crazy, by the way. Because this song I started off like a, with a bang, bro. Oh my god. You never gave me peace of mind, so I have to find that shit for myself. Like, you just, you broke up with me. You, uh, you just left me thinking about everything. You didn't give me a reason. 
I don't know what the situation is in, in this part of the song, but I'm just giving you situations. Um, but like, bruh, that line is crazy. Oh shit. Best of all time? Oh my god, bro. Nah, this, this is. This is. It has to be sure, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's another relationship. Let me know down in the comments who this is about. Because, like, as a, as a Shawn Mendes fan and a Camila fan, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, it, it has to be them. There's no other, they have never had relationships in their life. It has to be those two. But obviously, they have. But, like, let me know. Because. I thought it was that song when, like, when I heard it. Bro, that song could be one of her best songs she's ever written. I'm not even joking. That was 
phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, please let me know in the comments who that's about. Um, because if you guys say Shawn Mendes, I might lose my shit. Uh, wow. Um, that song was something, wasn't it? Uh, onto the last two tracks. Um, best of all time, boats. Definitely had me thinking what the frig the acronym was, eh? But uh, yeah, no, nah, boat is definitely the best song on this album. I don't know why I was like, nah, I'm not going to go back to my word, but like, I was saying this album, like, ain't really for me compared to, like, other albums of hers. Like, obviously, there's some incredible songs, but, and then Boat, like, why did I say that right before Boat? Like, why can't I just wait till the album was finished? But hey, <laughs> I started trading the Pretty When I Cry, uh, sort of, I mean, this might be a sequel to when, um, uh, what's her song called on, on her other album? Um... Let me, let me, let me go have a look. Is, is it Boys Don't Cry? Is that her album? On Familiar? Boys Don't Cry, yeah. So pretty, that's kind of cute that she's, uh, she's carried that on from, uh, from this track. Or from the next album. So I'm, I'm excited to see if that's on the same sort of, uh, singing bag or what. Because Boys Don't Cry is an incredible song on that, uh, third studio album. But let's touch into this one. Pretty When I Cry. Yeah. This album definitely got like a lot of like boppy tunes to it and I I'm loving that. I didn't realize that was like Miami vibe. Obviously I'm from Australia so in terms of like what the city culture is, I have no idea in America. But uh, yeah, this is definitely very boppy which I love. I, I listen to a lot of emotional uh, like s songs and, and in general. So and depressing songs, you can say depressing. Um, and that's, that's like the shit that like I love singing my heart out in the car and stuff. Uh, and uh, definitely crying sometimes when I've heard the song for the first time. Not every single time, maybe maybe a couple songs. But um, yeah, the song's pretty when I cry. All right, don't judge me. Everyone's pretty when they cry, man. Let that shit out. But uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm loving the switch up because sometimes I I'm in a I'm in a sad mood. I, I'm need that lift up, you know what I'm saying? And this shit, I'm going straight to this album. <laughs> Look at that line, by the way. I heard it the first time. Look at what she lost in me. That's like, imagine a girl saying that to you. Oh my God. I would... I would be devastated. I'd be like, you're right. I fucked up. Take me back, man. <laughs> what the fuck? As I said, man, that song's boppy as shit. That, whatever that was that came in at the end there, that shit caught me off guard. Um, but moving on to the last track off this album, June Gloom. 14 tracks, 32 minutes and 20 seconds. Camila Cabello's brand new album, CXOXO. Uh, man, I, I mean, first thoughts, it's, 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 it's alright. As an album, as a whole, like, 
I don't know if a lot of Camilla fans are going to enjoy it thoroughly, but like, there's some freaking incredible songs on this album. Uh, but as a whole, like the album is, is 14 tracks. There's probably about seven tracks that are, that are good, that are great. The rest are like on and off, might fit your vibe, might not. So, but like, what can you do? It's not gonna be all. It's not gonna be all for you. You're not gonna like every single song. Everyone has different tastes. So like, you might hate one song or uh, hate a strong word. You might dislike one song, and then your best your best mate might love it. So like, it's all about um different different vibes and, and what you're into. But it's the last track of the album. I hope you guys have enjoyed the album reaction. Uh, go check out my other Camila reactions if you haven't done so already. I've done all her albums on the channel, so go check them out. Let's dive straight into this last track. It's been a, a pleasure to record this for y'all, and I've been excited for this for two weeks now, because I thought it dropped last week, <laughs> but then it dropped this week, so let's start sharing this one, man. Jim Gloom, too far, I might as well say me, me and my dog. Cold beach, you are, I feel my body scream when you talk. She's cool, I heard, won't act surprised it's all a pictures where house fire for sure hope it'll burn out but it just gets bigger if she's so amazing why are you on this side of town if you like her so much what are you here trying to find out does she get this wet for you baby talk to you in poems and songs huh baby little kiss make your head go hazy is it really love if it's not this crazy does she move like this for your darling do you with me now you know when i want it i don't lie you're the best i can it i know that i haven't but i hope you top it Stop that shit. That was fucking hard as fuck. By the way, I don't think she's rapped on this album other than Chanel number no. 5, right? Would you call that rapping? I don't know. It was definitely... I felt like it was rap. And I know y'all said that, oh, no, no, she rapped in as well. I don't think I've heard that song. I'm not gonna lie. Um, But, like, that was the first time I heard her rap. So... But she hasn't rapped in the rest of this album. So... How come you're just so much better? Is this gonna end ever? Yeah. I guess I'll fuck around and find out I know I act like it's whatever Just makes me feel better The truth is none of you are I think about That's fucking hard Incredible finish uh, I said it again um, I'm not too sure if I'm bad with that track I'm not gonna lie Like It's parts I love Parts I didn't like but that ending was was crazy. Uh, definitely uh, clim climactic as fuck. But uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what my thoughts are on the album overall. Obviously, this is first listen. Uh, as I said, I think I only fucked with half the songs of the album. Like Chanel number five, uh, he knows twenty somethings, uh, hot uptown, ugly, uh, dream girls with fire, boat, um. Pretty when I cry, like yes and no. So like basically just seven, eight tracks I liked. Um, obviously other ones will grow on me. Let me know down in the comments your favorite songs. What do you thought of the album? Um, shout out to Camilla, incredible. You're amazing. We love you and uh, soak this one in. Celebrate. You deserve all the success in the world. Uh, and just enjoy writing again. I know you said that uh, you just loved the whole creative process to make this album and. Shout out to everyone that made that happen, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate y'all. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video, and check out my social links to be down below in the description. Go check out my other Camilla reactions if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you in the next one. Much love. Have a lovely weekend.